When times are tough and things seem at their worst, it's time to face your fears head on and become the person you were meant to be. Or you can handle things the gamer way and just regress endlessly into your childhood. Command and Conquer Remastered. Return to a much simpler time when companies were inventing new video game genres by accident and discover an era before the rules of real-time strategy had been established through a game that defies conventions because it came out before they existed. Then, realize they also didn't originally have 90% of the quality of life stuff you expect from an RTS nowadays, to the point where you can't even attack move in the first game. And the unit AI is so ancient you'll spend most of your time making sure your guys are actually shooting at something. In an experience that will slam you right back into 1995, no matter how many high-res filters they slap on top of it. Oh, thank God they didn't change this mission-ending music. This is my shit. Experience the classic gameplay of the original Command & Conquer as you choose sides in an alternate future worldwide conflict over the mysterious energy crystal Tiberium between the UN-backed GDI, who are all clearly community theater actors in army surplus gear, or the sinister terrorist Nod, who you know are the bad guys because they have beards. Then plow through a series of missions with ever-expanding weaponry, most of which can be easily beaten by just building the biggest tank you can make over and over again until you win, which is pretty much fine because you're not really here for the gameplay. You're here to unlock hidden sense memories from your youth by seeing 25-year-old FMV cutscenes like your Proust eating a Madeleine. Ah, <sighs> watching these, I can almost remember what hope felt like. Is that camera still running? Once you've both sides the Tiberian Sun conflict, hop into the much better aged prequel Red Alert, featuring actual control groups, being able to cue unit commands, two sides with actually different strengths and abilities, naval combat, a plot where Albert Einstein vaporizes young Hitler by shaking his hand, the Soviet missions that are given to you by a terrible Stalin impersonator. They were the enemies of the people. <laughs> but enough of this. Where you get to watch him choke a guy to death at one point, and then die hilariously. Poison? You bitch. Honestly, give me this over a million dollar Blizzard cartoon any day. After you've commanded and conquered the campaigns, take your game online and discover the origins of every irritating strategy you've ever faced. As the fact that there's only one resource lets you focus almost all your attention on annoying the shit out of your enemies. With early game rushes of a million grunts, turtling behind a wall of turrets and then waiting for them to get bored and disconnect. Or possibly the most disrespectful way to beat someone in an RTS ever, stealing their buildings and then killing them with a bunch of their own units. How dare you GG me, you son of a bitch! This was a bad G, a very bad G! So open up that MCV and slip deep down into your youthful memories for a faithful recreation of a series that is long behind the state of the art. That's a great buy for ancient gamers seeking to reclaim their childhood. And for anyone younger than that, it's 20 bucks better spent on commissioning hentai or whatever you kids do nowadays for fun. Starring Commander Daytime Soap Opera, Seth McNarlin, Kano Before the Eye Thing, General inconsistent accent. Drawing the Soviet command center here. Commander, I am also in this game. Ellen Ripley. Joseph Freeballen. Natasha Badnov. Various murdered Russian officials. And Albert Kreinstein. Rehash and remaster. You know the CGI in this is good stuff, but it doesn't really hit its peak until you hit the Tim Curry era. 
I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space! Are you a Pokemon master? Show your knowledge for a chance to win up to $650 on our new game show, Fandom 5 Trivia. Click the box to sign up and learn more. Madden 08 is Nirvana on a plate. The Hammers of Justice are unisex. There's a moral here. Orange is something something lost forever. My girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy.